How are you? Well, uh, congrats on the film. Thank you. It's going to come out in, on the 23rd. Right. So, what can you tell me? What, if, like, what made you be interested in this film? Um, it just, I found it an interesting story. Um, it's sort of been compared to Fatal Attraction in high school. Mm -hmm. Um, but just the idea of doing a high school film really appealed to me. Um, it's such a fundamental American institution of high school films. Um, and they are such a microcosm of the world out there um, with a huge amount of pressure and not so much experience. Um, that it sounded like an interesting sandbox to play in for sure. Well, a lot of people have compared it to Fatal Attraction for, for Millennials. Right. How do you feel like technology and the way that things are now versus how Fatal Attraction was? How do you feel like it plays into like into this film, like social media and technology? Well, certainly people can communicate on their phones and they do it a lot in the movie, just instant communications of people that are in different situations that are actually talking to people in real time, um, which 30 years ago in Fatal Attraction, you know, you couldn't do that. Um, just the world ran a little bit differently, um, where you didn't know what people were doing immediately while they were doing it. And so that definitely plays into um, just creating like a certain immediacy um, in having the characters convey their various unpleasant situations to each other in real time. Um, also, obviously, now you can do a bit of a background check on someone and figure out how crazy you think they might be. So their hero definitely uses that at some point. Unfortunately, didn't use it early enough. And yeah. repercussions happen. Well, what influence, it, what did the old, older films like Fatal Attraction, what, how did that influence, any, did it have any influence on this film? Um, I mean, it was certainly, like I said, it was, it was always compared to that earlier in the process. Um, you know, and they say that there's only six stories to be told or ten stories to be told. And in one way it's true and in one way it's every story is different upon retelling. And we tend to just cluster stories together. We cluster everything together in the world. It's how we, like, navigate all the chaos as we um, define it all. So it definitely gets put in that category. Um, but of course I think everything changes in the retelling and certainly having teenagers going through this is a very, very different circumstance than having adults with the full range of experience that adults have. Um, and again, that was something that really appealed to me in the beginning, was that like, okay, you've got this sort of terrible situation, it's bad enough in the real world, how bad is it when you're in high school and you're only... 17 or whatever and you're having to deal with these things as well so that I think really created a, a unique place for the story to live thank you so much thank that's you great so, much. so excited for you good talking to you thank you for all that insight too of course. <laughs> thank you